Hi, good day, traders. Welcome to Trade City Academy, guys. Welcome to my YouTube channel once again. Today, we're going to be doing something interesting. I'm just going to do um a very short. I'm trying to make the video very short. Uh, it's a video I actually take time. It's a type of topic I take time to treat in my mentorship program. But I just feel like sharing the content here on YouTube. So I'm trying to make it very short so you don't get bored. And a lot of people don't like watching a lot of lengthy videos on YouTube. So what is it? In videos today, I'm going to be talking about how to trade like a whale. Like how to see the way the whales trade and how to avoid fake out or a possible dump. Dump something very <laughs> So I'm going to be explaining how to easily avoid dump. And now let's go. First of all, guys, I need to let you understand something. Now, in any financial market, there are two types of people who trade it. I did a video on two types of market traders. We have the institutional trader, or we have people you call maybe retail traders, the petty traders, you and I. There are no way we are no institutional traders. So um, basically what they do is, while you're buying the market or you're longing, shorting anything you're doing the market, your own capital is smaller compared to the institutions. Now, the whale, when you talk about a whale, is actually a name of a fish. And the question is, why bring it, why naming a particular person after a fish? <laughs> there are a lot of history to that, but I'm not going to be doing or going deep to explaining why they are called whales but because of time. But let me just tell you. Now, whales are people could be a person, could be an institution that buys a higher quantity of a particular cryptocurrency asset. Now, a whale is a person or an institution or a group of people, a financial company that buys a larger volume or larger quantity of a cryptocurrency asset. Now, two things happen when they buy. Now, when you and I buy, because we are not whales, we are just pretty traders, personal traders. We just trade to make money. Because the, mom, the number we are buying, the volume we are buying is not much. Our order tends to be almost insignificant in the market. So, for example, you're buying BTC with $100. If you look at guy, come on, bro, nothing happened. But when a way comes into the market to buy, there is movement in the market. There is reaction. When a way comes into the market to sell, there is also a reaction. That reaction is because of the volume, the amount they are using to buy. Now, first of all, let's go. This is coin market cap. Now, here you get to know almost everything you need to know about BTC. You get to know the circulating supply of BTC. So we have about 19 million here. BTC. Now, do 19 million times the current price of BTC. So if you're doing, let's say mathematically, I'm trying to just explain something here. So we'll go. So let's say for example, BTC is currently trading as 23332.15 times the circulating supply. That's one nine one one five two Two five point zero zero. Ah, guys, can't even pronounce this amount of money. <laughs> it's something really big. What I'm trying to say is, so just imagine somebody has this amount of money, and is buying. That means you can buy almost every number amount of PTC we have in circulation. Do you know what that means? One particular person could own this. Dude, we are gone because if one person has all the BTC in this world, then it's gone. Now, let's say, for example, I am bringing in $5 million to buy BTC. Now, you're going to be doing your mathematical calculation, divide that by the price of BTC as at the moment, then I know the amount of BTC I will get. So if you're using $5 million, for example, to buy BTC at this, you do $5 million, divide by BTC trading as 23 331.59. So I'm going to be having 214.3017 BTC 
at that point that becomes a whale because I'm having a greater amount of BTC. If you have BTC, bro, you're not a whale. Maybe a smaller fish. Let's go back. What I'm trying to say is a whale is determined by the volume or the quantity of the coin they buy or they have or they possess. So the higher the quantity of the coin or the amount of the coin they possess, the more impact they have on the market. So a whale should be your friend. If you have a friend as a whale, then you're not likely to lose in the market. Now let's go. Let me now tell you what they do. There is a psychology they do. There is a way they play. I always tell people, take trading. Some people take it as gambling. E psychology, there is a way they do it. Remember those days, smaller than when you're playing gambling, of your gambling, sometimes if you know with confidence that you can beat this person, but because you really want to win this person, you want to take his money, you allow him to win. Is it not? You allow him to win at least first. Ah, you know, like, oh, more, I can win this thing, no? Then the moment he wins, he might even double the money, then you start winning. That's just the psychology. That's what some persons do. Now, let's see. This, I'm going to be explaining something here. Yeah? Let me keep. Then I will show you. I'll just share some tips with you. Now, guys, please, like I said, and I will always say, if it's your first time of visiting my channel, I always appreciate if you will subscribe to the channel. If you've been visiting before and you've not subscribed, please do well to click the subscription button. Thank you. So what I have here is, where are you, man? Come on, come on. Sorry. So what I have here is a key zone. Guys, listen attentively. This reason why some traders lose money. They say, ah, I keep blowing an account. I'm tired of trading. Crypto is not for me. Trading is not for me. Let me go back to my business. Let me go back to other things. Now, you're trading wrongly. You're not actually trading according. There are a lot of things you're not getting. So this is how it works. This is a key zone. I will come here and I will write, this is my resistance zone. So this become my resistance zone. Let me call my resistance. So this is become my support. I'm trying to make the video as short as possible. So this becomes my resistance. This becomes my support. So it becomes a key zone. Now, one thing you must understand about resistance and support is the moment you can spot the resistance and the support in the chat, it means everybody is looking at that chat can also do the same. So what does that mean? Everybody's seeing that zone that you're seeing. So everybody's eyes there. I remember trading is some people sell, some people buy. Now everybody's eyes there. It means something's going to happen when it gets to that point. Now let's look at this point. When you get here, we have a point here. Let me change the color to which color going to be this? Let me change the view. And we have something like this. What does it tell you? This is a double top. Huh? This is a double top. Now, imagine, assuming we actually opened BTC USDT and the price was here. What does that tell you? Ideally, what every traditional trader knows is the moment he gets to a resistance, bro, you sell. Now, the moment he gets to a support, you buy. That's good. No doubt. I don't have any issues with that. Now, the right thing is, the moment you spot a double top at the resistance is a better confirmation for you to sell. It's still good. The moment you spot a double button on the support is a better confirmation for you to buy. No doubt. Let's go back. Let me tell you, this thing you know, it will also know. Now, let's say I am a way, for example, and I want to buy $5 million dollars worth of BTC. Now, what does that mean? It means the moment I enter the market, two things are going to happen. I'm going to be looking at these two key zones, support and resistance. Why am I going to be looking at these two key zones? Because I want to buy $5 million worth of BTC. Remember our calculation, $5 million worth of BTC should be giving us 214.3 BTC. So I'm looking at a zone where I can buy 214 BTC. I'm looking at a zone where I can buy 214 BTC. And where do you think I can get that zone? I can get that 
point or that quantity from where people are willing to sell. Trading is buying and selling. So that means if nobody is selling BTC, then you won't have it. For you to have BTC, you need to buy from someone who is willing to sell. So I need 214. I need to look out for a zone where I can buy this quantity from people who are willing to sell. And where is that zone? It's either here, it's here basically, because people are willing to sell. That's one, that is what you know. But this is what a way does. Now, this is what a way does. Now, for this point, let me quickly, let's forget about the resistance. Let's come to support now. Let's come to the support. So let me move this out. Okay, let me say leave it. Let me use sell so you don't get confused. This will be easy for us because I want to buy. Now, this is what happened. The moment he gets to this zone, this is my zone, my support zone. A lot of persons, a lot of persons are buying. A lot of persons are buying at this particular zone. So what does that mean? We are pending orders of people who want to buy. Now, the moment you spot this as a retail trader, the first thing that comes to your mind is guy, and you need to buy. What do you do? You come and place your buy order here. So let me assume this is where you buy. You buy here. Come, I see a bullish candle, and I want to buy. I buy here. And what will you do? You come back to your setting, your short, your long position, rather. Remember, we are buying here. So you will want to put your stop loss slightly below the low. So let me remove this. Now, this is where we are buying. We are anticipating the price will go as far as this. Now, this is our entry. This mark point is our entry. So we'll put our stop loss here. So this becomes our Excel. Trying to make this video as short as I can. This becomes our Excel. Why this is our entry? This is our entry. This is our entry. Then this is our TP. This is our take profit. This is a very good. This is a very very good ratio. Very good. Very good. One is to five. It's a good one. This is it. Now at this point, do you know what the way will now do? People are buying here. So for me to get 214 quantity, I might not really get it because I need to buy from a zone where people are willing to sell. And where is that? It is where we have a lot of Excel. Remember, Excel means I have bought the coin, I have a quantity of the coin, and I'm anticipating it will go up. But please, if you go against me, Take me out. What do you mean? You have it already. So my excess is where I'm going to be selling out. So at that point, I am willing to sell out at this point. So the way will not want to buy at this point because he will not have many people who are willing to sell. Remember, trading is buying and selling. He will not have many people who are willing to sell to him at this point because everybody is buying. Almost everybody wants to buy here because we have a double button here. So everybody wants to buy here. But if you see this zone, if you see this zone, a lot of persons are willing to sell. A lot of persons are willing to sell. Not like they are selling. It's their stop loss. They want to cut short of their loss. So you will have plenty. You can get 214 BTC here because people are selling to him. That is the ideology. That is the psychology. So what would the way you do? You will not look at manipulating the price here. You will not look at manipulating the price. So how will he do that? Now, for him to actually get this quantity, this quantity of 214, you need to manipulate the price. Now, pack the stop loss. That's buy from all the people who are selling through their stop losses, which is mostly here because traditionally, they will tell you, put your stop loss slightly, slightly above, sorry, below the last low for a buy option, which is here. So here, let's assume we have 500 or 5,000 stop losses. For most financial markets like Forex, institutional traders get to see where stop losses are. So that's pretty bad for them because they, look some, they use some other platform that, that allows them to do that. So they get to see where your stop losses are. So let's assume I am seeing your stop loss. So I have about, let's say, 1,000 stop losses here who are placed here. And they are willing to sell. 
So the way we want to allow you to buy, so what happens is, I'm going to delete this, and I'm trying to tell you what the way we're going to do. Now, the way we'll come here, give you this. Then, sorry, it will give you this. Then it will push the market up. Obviously, she need to be in profit. Because if you just come, uh, put it here, you will know. Many people will not enter the trade. And that, I'm going to pause here for a while. Then I take you to something I wrote here. There are two types of traders. There are two types of traders. Guys, we have aggressive traders and we have conservative traders. We have aggressive traders. We have conservative traders. Aggressive traders do not wait for retest. They just jump and enter, double top, double bottom. Hmm. Or conservative, at least wait for a retest. Now, this pattern will affect both aggressive and conservative, but conservative traders might slightly escape it. This is what happened. The moment, now the moment price gets to this point, this is the candle coming to form. Do you know what a conservative trader will do? He will wait for this, this, a rejection of this zone and this. So he will be looking to buy above this zone. So this is where a conservative trader will be looking to buy this zone here. So at that point, he have lost from here to here. They move from here to here. But do you know what an aggressive trader will do? Say, guy, man, I don't have that time. I'm going to buy. This is a double bottom. Leave it. I'm buying. I'm sure of it. And I'm not sure. I'm going to gamble. Life is risky. Trading is risky. I'm buying the moment it gets here. So the moment he gets here, a conservative trader buys from this zone. So imagine him buying from this zone. When the market moved from here down here, he has already made some money. He said, yeah, bro, I was right. I got, I got it right. I got it right. I bought it early. Before you enter, he's already entered. So he will make more money than a conservative trader. But look at what happened. I told you ways action will affect both of him. Look at what happened. Oh, I deleted that interest. Something else. Okay, sorry, let me do it again. We're on a long position, and this is our entry. Uh, around 50%. Uh, I'm going to say key back here. Then a stop loss for some here. Yeah, good. So this is what happened. The way we'll push the market to this point, that's where everybody's looking to buy. Then it will actually tell you that you were right. This is what happened. So the market start going here. Now this is where the way will not play. At this point, people will jump in. They will buy. Ah, it's a double top. Sorry, it's a double bottom. It's a confirmation. They start buying. Now, this is what the way will do. The way will allow you to go up. Imagine you bought from here. It has gone here. You miss certain percentage. Man, you look at your phone. You want to say, I'm making cool money today. You've done 10, 15 percent. If your leverage is high, you've done about 20, 45, going to 50 percent for people who do high leverage. And you're like, you're hitting your chest, man, man, I'm going to make more money today. I'm going to ride this market here. It's going here. It's going here. This is a major zone. It will have spotted this. Remember, all the sell orders are here because it's a stop loss. So all the people who bought from here are willing to sell off at this zone. So if a way buys here, you cannot really get that quantity like that. Even though it gets it, it won't be a wise decision. So if you want to buy at a cheaper rate, Remember, if you're buying at this zone where we enter, BTC is 19,541. But if I'm buying at this zone where stop losses are, I'm going to be buying at 19,310. So, which is cheaper for me and more economical and a prudent decision than just buying here. So, in as much as I have a number, higher number of people who are willing to sell to me because it's a stop loss, then I'll also be buying low as a way. So, what do I do? Come on, guys, this video is getting long. So, what do I do? I look at it, I will push the price up a bit. So a way that has $5 million will risk, he will risk, for example, $1 million and used to buy from this zone. He will used to buy from this zone. Let me quickly explain something before I forget. Two things happen. For retail traders, petty traders, single traders, when you enter the market, it's instant. It's almost instant because you're not buying much. So your market order, your order gets executed almost instant, even though it's limited. It gets executed the moment price gets to your desired order. 
local in price, so it gets executed. But for people who are buying higher quantity, it will take time for their order to be 100% filled. Now, if you've experienced this on your app while trading, you will discover that sometimes your order is 80% filled, 90% filled. It gets filled partially. Sometimes it does happen. Now, that in happens to whales because they are buying a higher amount of the coin or the asset. Their order doesn't get filled instant. It takes time because the order will be filling gradually till everything is complete. So you might get 25%, 50, 75, 100. So what the way will do is he had five million dollars to spare to buy to trade here. So what he will do is he will invest one million dollars to buy from this zone. So the moment I invest one million dollars to buy from this zone, the next thing you see we start seeing a pump, maybe on 15 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour, pum, 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 pum. Yeah, the so market is pumping. At that point, people who bought here, they are ah man, you were right, it was a double bottom. So at that point, the market pumps. People who waited jumped in to buy at this particular point. Remember, the way had five million dollars. He took out one million dollars to buy here. So the moment he bought here, everybody sees market is going bullish. People who entered here, they're already smiling. The wise one will take some partial profit. The others will wait for their TP to get hit. So the market start going up, start going up. Then this is the next thing the way we do. Remember, I see I have four thousand dollars. Four million dollars outstanding. So this is what we do. What he will do. Now the moment he does that, he sells. So market gets here. He sells. Now the moment he sells, he pushes the market down here. This is where he wanted to buy from. He pushes the market down here. He will sell like he will sell to ensure that he pushes the market down. Now, the moment he sells, he has a higher quantity. So you just see a red candle poop. Say, man, where is this coming from? Man, I don't like crypto. There are a lot of fake cards. There are a lot of market manipulation. The psychology, guys. So he sells. Now, the moment he sells, if he had BTC before, he will not even bother buying. Do you get If he had BTC before, he will not even bother buying here. He will just wait for you. Sell at this particular point. Push down the price here. Now, the moment he push down the price here, he will pack all your stop losses. Not all. All of us are stop losses. He will pack all of them for people who trade like this. He might even go below your stop loss to pack some people that thought they were wiser. They gave some level below, below the last entry. You pack all the stop loss. Now, at this point, two things are going to happen. You'll be forced to close your trade. If you didn't hit the stop loss, you'll be forced to close your trade because you'll not be saying, ah, that was a wrong trade. I thought I was right, but I'm wrong. Ah, it happens. So let me close it. You will close. The next thing you want to do is revenge. So you want to take back. So you will not say, ah, market is going short. So you quickly enter short. <laughs> you get it. Now, you bought before. There was a fake out here. You say, ah, I was wrong. Let me short. Instead of longing, I short. Now, the moment you short, market has gone your direction a bit. You shorted, you shorted. Now, you've given the whale all the amount he needed to afford because all your stop losses have gotten um, executed, liquidated. So, he packed all your stop losses for people who do that. One hundred million stop losses, as you say, he packed them up so that he can accumulate. It's 214. We're using $5 million. BTC wanted to buy, then this is the next thing you do. So when I place his own buy order from here, and the next thing you see is poop. Poop, 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 poop. The market gets your TP. You smash your phone, then you say, man, this is rubbish. You're going to hate yourself for that day for two things. One, you entered here, and this was your analysis. It was going here. You entered here. There was a small manipulation here. You sold. This small manipulation that came down here, you sold or you got kicked out on your stop loss. The next thing you did was, I was wrong on that trade. You enter in sell, thinking it's going down, and the market goes against you. So at that point, you're going to lose two hands, both your long position and your short position. But if you've had your long position, you would have made money. This is just the ideology waves they use. You can see a lot of that. Then guys, just finally, before I close this video, there are three market faces, three market faces. This picture will help us just explain everything. Now, there are three market faces. We have contraction phase. This is contraction phase. 
Now we have the expansion phase. This is the expansion phase. Then we have the trend, that's the profit taking. That's the, what they call the trend phase. So this is, this is it. Let me try to explain. Come on, come on, come on. So let me try to explain. This is what happened. This is contraction. This is contraction. I'm going to explain this in relation to our ways, please. So if you know the strategy, you might likely be avoiding that. So this is contraction. This is contraction phase. We can see that here. That's this one, contraction phase. Now the next thing you see is the expansion phase. So at that point, that's where we would likely get to see a fake out. Let me just because of time, not the plenty candle. Then we see the fake out. This is the fake out that has happened. Then the next thing is boom, the trending phase. So guys, this is this is this. I'm gonna use this to explain what I just explained here. Look at it. There was a fake out, it moved as it was going back up, it came back down and went back up initially. That is it. It looked as if it was going back up, it came down and went back up. That is what happened here. So this is market came here, came back down here. Now at this point, we had a few breakouts, which is this point, that's the expansion. We had this, but there's gonna be a period of consolidation around this zone. We had an expansion. This is the breakout here, which is this candle, which is this guy here. Let me reduce it so that it will help us to understand better. Which is this guy here, which is this guy here, this one, that's this guy here. So you, the people who traded these are wrong. Then what happened? The thing will come back then, which is this zone. Now, the moment you see, there is an up here and there is a low here. So there is a period of contract and confusion. Now, after then, we go back up. So ideally, for you to be profitable, you trade the trend, that's why I say, trade the trending market. That's the profit zone. Do not trade even the expansion. Contraction stay off the market. That is only when you will be successful. So even when a will act, this trading psychology or this trading strategy can even help you to mitigate your risk. And guys, you need to know that this applies to both spot and futures. And I always tell people, see, futures are, that's where the volume is. And most times it's where the volume is that determines the price of a particular asset. So guys, if this video has been helpful, please do where to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Go ahead and share the video. We'll learn together and stay safe. Thank you and have a nice day.